It's me! I'm back. I'm a little cold. Oh, you know, it's a multi-step process. Let me, get, let me not get my finger stuck in the till. See? That hurts. Wait. What? Yeah. Fire, fire, it's cool. No, <laughs> Beavis. I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you why. Yeah. Tell me why you're going to send it to, like, your lady friend? Wow, yeah, less. Too much. Just turn the lights off. You can make it yellower. Can make it yellower? Yeah. There you go. You know, if I still smoke cigarettes, I'll be able to light my cigarettes right there. Is Mike G still? I don't know. Probably not. You can tell by smelling his brand new truck. He just smoked it. He said he's not going to smoke it. Really? Wow, look at this. So he's a bad day. So you can little... Oh, oh, you know what we can look? Oh. Is if you hooked up a thermocouple right here and then you can test millivolts on a the thermocouple. You know what? Let's entertain the people. You ready? Okay. We have a uh, voltmeter. Yes, we do. That reads millivolts. Yes, we do. Does this read millivolts? Yes, it does. We need a thermal couple. Peter, we're going to do the first Mikey Pipes class. You ready? I'm ready. Look at this. This has never been used. <laughs> That my my tool bag is right there. That was my Florida tool bag. I never really did anything there, but I will. I promise. Okay, millivolts. P D. P Diddy. Pipe Doc. Pipe Doc. All right, now. What do I need to? Uh, just the end, right? The end and ground. The end and, and the copper. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna take one probe on the end of this thermocouple and one on that end right there. Okay? And we're gonna put this tip into flame. Here we go. Yeah. So when we have a good pile of flame, we are going to have a small millivolt charge traveling from the tip of the thermocouple, which is sitting inside the pilot flame. And that is converting to small amounts of electricity that then travel to the gas valve. And the electric charge is gonna hold that magnet closed. Look at that, 28 millivolts. You know what I really wanna do right now? I really want to take a standing pile of gas valve and put it right here with a T. We should make, hold on. Yeah. That's epic. We're going to do that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, smart. Am I smart? We're going to, that's what we're going to do. Wow. This is the first, the Mikey Pipe School's in session. Make sure you're subscribed before I bust a blood vessel in my cranium. Okay, let's go see what Daniel's doing. All right. Now, in theory, this is a great idea, but the next one we take out, like the next boil we do, we should probably save the gas valve. Because we have about $80, and we have about 130 really Yeah, it's wow. expensive. It is a lot. Yeah. We're going to do that, though. I promise. So make sure you hit that notification bell on the Mikey Pipes Uncensored channel to get post notifications when we drop a video. And make sure you subscribe because sharing is caring. We need 50,000 subscribers. Actually, we need 100,000 subscribers. But 50,000 subscribers, I'm going to take out this card right here. I'm going to take this card out, all right? And I am going to buy the Big Daddy fucking cabana at the Hard Rock Cafe, the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino and Resort, in Hollywood, Florida. And you're not gonna be able to see the numbers, so there you go. That right there. You see? That right there! 
That's just gonna bounce, bitch, bounce! We need a standing pilot gas valve that's functional. We need a thermal couple and a pilot burner. And with no, you know, you want it. Buy it, lady. Buy it. She's like, no, I don't want this piece of shit, Apis. And I'm thinking, I need more room. If I really had more space, I could extend this and we could do a, a gas burner education center. You know, you know, we have a standing pilot, we have intermittent pilot, hot service ignition, and then you didn't see it at Lock and Bar. In Lock and Bar, they have in their I guess quality control room where they do testing for government, you know, like uh, qualifications and certifications. They have a, one of the burners, a million BTU burner or a 10 million, whatever, 5 million BTU burner. And it's on fire, nice blue flame, beautiful, open air, by the way, right? In the draft hood, you know, because EPA and laws. And then, of course, there has to be that one jackass that's the class clown. That's me, right? I go there and touch it. You can touch it, right? Room temperature. Second later. Thousand degree flame, well maybe not thousand degree, but nice blue flame, whole nice blue flame, like in the mesh that you see in these things, but bigger, like the size of a pizza. Fire! It was fire. <laughs> Beavis. Fire! 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 Beavis. Fire. <laughs> so, is that equivalent to like one candle, one BTU? How do we clock that? Oh, we got to be able to clock this stuff.